my name is Karen Urbanek. I'm a holistic health care practitioner and I am so excited to share with you something I've been doing for over a decade because it makes such a difference. A lot of people are wondering, you know, they wake up with fatigue, they wake up and they don't have energy, they don't have libido, they're foggy in their brain, they just are lacking something but they don't know what it is. And we might run to the doctor and describe our symptoms and, we, and then we kind of just get a label diagnosis. Well, you have, you know, chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia or something and there's actually a way to go into the body and find out just what's going on. So biofeedback is a unit that I, I've used. We've had two wellness centers in the States, one in Wisconsin, one in Utah, and we have been able to work with thousands of clients and help answer all those questions by simply using frequency. So every cell, every organ, every bacteria, every virus, everything vibrates at a specific frequency. If we go back to the simplest the simplest form of energy, we look at atoms, right? And we have electrons that are orbiting around protons and those electrons distinguish what the frequency will be or what the vibrational um, oscillation is. Because if you have more electrons, if you have one electron, then you have hydrogen, two electrons, you have helium, right? So hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, copper, magnesium, manganese, all of those elements vibrate differently simply because they have a different electronic signature. Well, when we bond and we create atoms and then we, and then, I mean, we create cells, we create metals, we create stones, everything around you, your clothing, you're wearing your eyeglasses, the food you're eating or the tea you're sipping, everything is created from atoms. And so as we build and we combine different minerals and different vitamins and different compounds, we're able to still test them for frequency. So recently I went, I flew out to Wyoming and I did a bunch of testing on, some large families there and sure enough when I started explaining frequency to them they're like oh we get this because we send frequencies into the ground looking for oil well that's what I tell people we do when you want to go look for metal outside you use a metal detector and you put frequencies in the ground and you get a biofeedback right when you're cheating and you're fishing and you're sending waves down into the water looking for fish boom you know where to fish I'm the old-fashioned grew up on the lake and I was a bobber but I get that <laughs> you know there's a way to actually look and detect for frequencies. Dr. Reif and thousands of doctors have written in countless periodicals and documents using frequency as medicine. You've probably heard energy medicine, but you think that's a little woohoo or you don't know what it is. Well, it's as scientific as it comes. There's no quack watch about this. This is real stuff. So the unit that I'm using isn't approved by the FDA. I'm not a medical doctor. This is for entertainment purposes only, but I promise to be entertaining because this is really, really cool. And the stories I'm going to share are going to pow, blow your mind because they blow mine. Like I can't wait for the days that I do testing. It's like Christmas every day. I don't know what I'm going to find and they don't know what they're going to find. But every single test I've ever done shows results and that's what's so cool. And I'm here to explain biofeedback, whether you want to come and get tested by me or one of our students or just find someone in your area, please consider using energy medicine for you and your family because it's pretty cool. So the unit that we're going to be using is called an AO Digital Body Scanner. Now I use the AO Digital Body Scanner a little differently than some of the other technicians may only because my experience as a holistic healthcare practitioner, I know what I'm looking for right away. So we're going to jump in and I'm going to quickly do a scan um, just to kind of show you how that works on one of our good friends. So the AO Digital Body Scanner, you can do a lot. You can do rife treatments. You can use, you can burn homeopathy. You can do, you know, you can do emotional frequencies. There's a lot behind this unit. I'm simply going to use two parts of the unit. One is a 24 page report. So we do a 24 page report, which will outline mineral deficiency, vitamin deficiency, amino acid deficiency. We're going to look for collagen, neurotransmitters. We're going to look at a little, like, I mean, hundreds of different balancing uh, frequencies are going to go into the body. Well, 120,000 is what we actually use, but we're going to be able to put out this 24 page report that, and there's an attachment below so you can read through a, a, a sample report and those those are going to give us line items. And then the second part I want to show you in the short video is we're going to just look at the heart and maybe the digestive system just for fun, even though we can do every chromosome in the body, just to show you what we can detect that way as well. What this really offers is a balance. And if you think about it, if we're sending a frequency through the body looking for calcium, okay, so just like a metal detector looking for aluminum or copper, we're going to send a frequency looking for calcium 
Whoop. Okay, ooh, does that mean there's too much calcium or too little? Well, we can find out. Is there too much calcium or too little calcium? Is there too much norepinephrine? Not enough norepinephrine. Is there too much leptin or are we deficient in leptin? Oh, that would explain your weight gain, right? So like we can be looking for different keys as to what's going on. For instance, literally just last weekend, I was scanning a 50 year old um, and they had come in because they have just felt so much fatigue. They had lost a lot of weight. They were just, it, it was, their whole body was becoming debilitated and the family was very concerned. And so when they sat down for the scan, I went ahead and scanned and we found deficiencies. We found a couple molds, definitely bacteria and some parasites and a couple viruses. Uh, I also, we also tested like their, their muscles and how their muscles were functioning and the nervous system. So I painted this picture of what I felt might help them moving forward, getting rid of candida, doing some, you know, some stretching and some, um, some of the foam rolling and then different dietary and supplement ideas. I don't sell supplements, so they didn't go home with a single dollar worth of supplements. They went home with information so they could do what they felt would be best. And at the very end of the conversation where every one of their pains and, and aches and pains were explained, and I kind of explained what was probably going on that led to all of it, they say, oh, Karen, we just actually came back from the Mayo Clinic and he was diagnosed with MS. And I'm like, oh, you kind of told me that in the first place. But the problem was, they said that when they went to the clinic, they have all these symptoms, but the clinic literally just told them, well, I really don't know how to explain all of that, but you probably just have MS. You have all the signs of MS. Where MS could be simply, and obviously I, I know a bit about MS and I've helped my clients you know, be able to get rid of a lot of the symptoms. Some of them completely have gone into remission from that MS. It's not me, it's them. I just explained what the body's doing. But it was interesting because to note that here, here there were reasons that they were feeling that. Okay, I'm getting on a tangent, but I get so excited to share all these stories. So I'm just gonna start plugging away while one of the scans is running. I'm gonna share with you a couple more. So we're gonna look at the vital scan and using bone amplifiers that go around the, the, um, the ears and they rest right here on the TMJ joint. Those bone amplifiers are, through those bone amplifiers, we're sending thousands of frequencies. Again, this unit has 120,000 frequencies embedded into it. And those frequencies are of calcium, magnesium, and copper, but also of, you know, your your MRSA, right? Different bacteria, different funguses, different molds, different like five or six different strains of candida. We have frequencies embedded into the unit looking for everything. So we can look at your different blood levels. We can, we can detect when there's a deficiency of something or when something is overactive. So we're gonna send these frequencies simply through this body looking for what might not be balanced. And then we're gonna use a frequency optimization, which if you know much about energy medicine or Dr. Rife, it's like a Rife treatment where we actually send frequencies through the body and we shake all the cells. That's actually what's happening right now. As these frequencies are being sent through the body, they are shaking all the cells in specific areas, loosening up what's, what's like getting rid of debris, quote unquote. So the cell has hundreds of thousands of receptor sites sticking all over it. And those receptor sites sometimes get clogged with junk with either, um, you know, either increments that are in our water, uh, with in our food, we have all this debris, right? Endotoxins from the parasites and the bacteria that are in your body. There's just all this debris that can be in the extracellular fluid. And when that fluid um, goes into the spaces on the outside of the cell, into the, um, into the cell membrane, when you have all of those receptor sites sticking out, they can be clogging things up. So we shake a cell to help it separate from the cells around it and to release particles that could be inside of the cell or attached to the cell. Then we can measure what's actually going on at the cell level. So we do a scan of the body and then we shake the cells in the body using a Rife treatment or a frequency optimization and then we get to rescan the body and then we are given results. Okay, so we did the frequency optimization and we did the 24 page report. So we've done both of those things. So she also had that shaking up of the cells, right? So when we're looking at this report, we're gonna look and find blues and reds. So we're gonna look at non-HDLC. Okay, that's a red. That can be high, maybe too much in the body, or um, we can look at lows. And so we can look, okay, low hemoglobin. So then we just literally pop through this entire system looking at gastrointestinal issues, looking for nutritional deficiencies. Here she has an issue, she's low in histidine and deficient in leucine. Well, anybody who knows amino acids, that's how you build your proteins is from amino acids. So for low in histidine and low in leucine, that could literally be the answer to a lot of the problems because if we're missing an amino acid then we cannot build the proteins in the body that need that specific amino acid so very very key we can look at different 
um, elements that are missing when it comes to uh, enzymes. We can look at physical functionality, brains of motion, hypoxia, so obviously a little bit more air would be needed for this particular client. Uh, we can look at different things in the body, as in this is the brain and nerves, so the cranial section. And again, this goes through 24 pages of looking for what might be deficient or overactive or underactive. Now there's another section to this, which is super fun, and that is the comprehensives. And in your comprehensives, we can look at anything. We can look at arteries through the whole body, veins through the entire body. One of my favorite things to do is when people have headaches, to scan the head completely. We do all the arteries to the brain. We do um, everything to the head, so we do nerves, arteries. Um, the uh, the nervous system to the brain to the head again we do we do all of it I love to check the meninges to see if that is tightened at all uh, we do a couple different brain scans of the organs there's a lot we can concentrate on but just for this pre pre presentation for you and I I want to go in and show you the heart uh, and we're just going to pick the heart because it's just fun and then we're going to do um, and there's actually three scans to the heart so I'm just going to do a couple of those and then we're going to do the digestive system. So in the organs, you can do anything. So this is this has been fascinating because when I go in and get, um, in particular with people who come in with specific issues, we can go directly to what's causing the issue. We also can do all the chromosomes. And so for my personal family, we're able to do chromosome balancing, um, and, you know, whenever we want, which has been wonderful because over 776 different diseases come from chromosomes being imbalanced. So to do a chromosome scan, although it takes a little bit of time, it's well worth it. Now, in particular, one of I, so many stories to share, I, I would just be here for hours and hours, but you might really enjoy. Don't we all love hearing people get well stories? It makes me all happy, but I get to do it. So it's super fun. I get to hear it all the time. We had a young boy come in one time who was about 10 years old and he had had um, asthma. And so he was on medication. He couldn't run and play. He was on the couch all the time. The doctors wanted to do chemotherapy on him. And when we, we brought him in to do the scan, I scanned his lungs and I did, and I, I sat back and I was like, oh gosh, Maybe something's wrong with the scanner or something because his lungs actually looked really, really good. I'm thinking, no, I bet you this isn't lungs. And so I did the heart. That was the problem. So here he had been on medication for years. They were going to do chromotherapy on him because they had given up on what it could be. But it was the heart. So I recommended some uh, protocols for the heart that we've used, that our clients have used in the past. And they went ahead and started using the protocols. And he was literally running within weeks, running, playing football with all his friends. All these things he had not been able to do, work in the farm, you know, help with the animals because of the lung issue, which actually wasn't the lung. It was actually a heart issue. So it was, it was really neat. And we We've had, I mean, I talk about this, that there's 30,000 units like this all over Asia. There's medical doctors using it in clinics and in hospitals. Here in America, there's medical doctors that have referenced this and have used it. It's not approved, of course, by the FDA. But however, they've asked for reference material from it because it can get so accurate. One of our um, technicians, her daughter had gotten um, her hand hurt in a soccer tournament and it was crushed. And so she, before she went to the hospital, she ran home and scanned the hand with her unit, then took the pictures, all the results of the hand scan and went to the emergency room and they did the x-ray. And then when she presented the paperwork, she said, well, this is what I found as well. The doctor was blown away. He's like, this is exactly what's going on. He said, but this is even more detailed. And we get that from the ear, nose, throat specialists all the time. We, this is really fun. So again, this is for entertainment purposes only, but it's one heck of an entertainment. So um, now just I want to show these results to you in a minute, but I wanted to explain that not only do we do a first initial scan, but now, as I mentioned earlier, we're shaking all the cells in the heart. We're going to shake all the cells in digestion to see what is out of balance. Um, and again, so this is one this is one of our staff members that we're uh, doing a scan on, and uh, she is doing lovely with her health. So sad for you. You don't get to see all the red marks that normally show up in many of our, our client scans. But we wanted, to, we wanted to open up our doors to you so you could actually get an inside look into, into how these scans work. One time I was scanning a young man. He was about 21 years old, 22 years old, and I had a real strong impression to do his reproductive system. So I did every single scan of his reproductive system and they looked terrible. And I said, sir, I said, you need to go into the hospital because something is definitely not right here. He had stage four testicle cancer and was treated for that. And so that was really incredible. And, now, and of course I can't detect cancer, but it was just that the, the numbers just appeared to be a little off. And so it was something that was really helpful to him. So that was wonderful. Okay, so we've done the scanning and then we did the frequency optimization. So now we can look at the results and because everything needs to be balanced and five is a very balanced number and it's right in the middle. So all
all of our ones become fives and all of our nines become fives. We can glance through and look at these areas and look for where are their fives and where are their ones. We can glance and see the right atriums a little weak. Okay, well let's work at, look at that right atrium. I always look at the at the in the, in the heart, I always want to look at the ventricles because the ventricles are the big muscles. And so for me, when I see a left and a right ventricle that are really strong, I know we're in good shape and we can, we can then work with the rest of the pictures. And of course, hers look wonderful. We are, we can look at the digestive system. Ooh, ooh, where's that appendix? Well, guess what? She doesn't have one, right? So the body's like, whoa, something's really off down here. Yeah, it's missing. Okay. And so it's really fun to see that what has already happened in your life shows up in these scans as well. But we can also detect that, okay, in the duodenum, there's a little bit of an issue there. So, so in that, that duodenum, there might be digestive orders. She might be dealing with a little pain or a little of inflammation or some bloating. It could be that there's not, not enough hydrochloric acid in the stomach, so it's not opening that lower, um, that, that floric sphincter enough. It could be that there's a candida back up. There, who knows? The pancreas isn't creating enough pancreatic enzymes. But we can own in on some of these areas and go, hmm, what might be happening? We can look and see there's probably a little bit of constipation, just a little bit in the descending colon, and that's okay. So it's just interesting to be look, able to look at this. Now, if we do a scan like this and we see the stomach has an issue, then we can go into the stomach lining and we can look at the stomach lining or the gastric juices to see if those are being created well, if the periental cells are even working. So just a lot of fascinating, fun stuff that you can do using an AO scan. Again, it's not to be overwhelming. It's just information. And the more information we have about our bodies, the better we can take care of it, the better picture that we can paint. And all of a sudden we realize, oh my gosh, we don't have energy in the morning because we're terribly low in magnesium. We're terribly high in candida, right? There are things that show up all the time. Oh, the heart isn't really at the peak its peak, you know, um, a capability. So why can't we add a few things that help with heart health, right? Why can't we look at some CoQ10 and why can't we look at some Hawthorne Berry and maybe some herbs for the heart? If we're getting chronic headaches and we find out it's the nerves, wonderful. There's a lot you can do for the nerves of the body and it's not the arteries and it's not the veins. Those look really good. And so there's just a lot of things that you can look at using an AO scan that can better uh, better your life. And so in this time of waking up in the morning and maybe not feeling the best and that gut feeling is telling you, I should do something, this is a great place to start. If you're not in a position to be able to come in to see one of our graduates in one of their centers or their offices, that's okay. We have remote units that can be sent right to you and then you can hook it up into your computer and you can literally log into our computer system where the graduates can be doing their testing. So again, the frequencies come through the bone amplifiers right to the TMJ joint. They go through the entire body and then that wavelength, the biofeedback comes up in the 24 page report and the comprehensives that we are able to do. So again, it's fascinating. If there's any way to help you understand more about what's actually going on inside the body, this would be a fun place to start. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and we hope you freaking love your body.